Mind Lab Super Settings. <laughs> Welcome back. Um, it's been a little while since I've done a in the office video. Um, I'm in here today because it's winter now and it's wet and miserable and cold. So we're not doing an out on the ground video. This one's going to be a short one. Um, all to do with super settings for your mind lab. Now we're going to talk about the Xterra, the 900 and the Manticore. Um, so this year... I've had a quite a good year. Uh, those of you who follow me will have seen it. Um, I've been lucky. I've had some really nice finds. And each time I go away and I come back and I've got a bunch of nice finds, I get loads and loads of messages. People saying, what are your settings? What are you using on the Manticore? What program are you using? What are you using on the 900? Um, so I'm going to talk about that just now. So Xterra, uh, I've done well with this year. The 900 and the Manticore. Um, the settings that I'm using now, I know um that lots of you guys go on youtube um and you watch videos like this and you get your new super setting your new super program that's so good that it guarantees to find you everything and probably even clean your finds after for you okay and you guys a lot of you um go on there and you stick all that in and go out and hope for the best and think right i'm gonna find everything um you gotta bear in mind a few things before you start sort of programming in all these people's settings and all these Joe blogs. He's just got his manticore and he's giving you this new setting and everyone likes him and said, yeah, that's the way to go. Well, firstly, any gain that you make with a setting on a metal detector, um, in almost all cases, so it means that when you make that gain, so you adjust something or you tweak something, you will lose out in other performance respects. So um, let's say, for example, you pick up your recovery speed, then potentially you're going to lose a bit of depth. So every gain that you make from all these super settings, um, potentially you're going to have some sort of losses in performance. Right, so we'll talk about that. Also, I know of several people on YouTube who have got a machine and then released their new super settings for this machine. And everyone's got, yeah, let's get these settings in there. Those people have had those machines sometimes for three, four, maybe five days before they release this great new latest and greatest setting. So bear that in mind as well. So what settings am I using? Um, loads of you have been asking. My settings are virtually bog standard. Factory presets is what I use. Um, and I always use that. I'll go somewhere. I'll tweak it to the conditions of the field, weather, what, what EMI, whatever's going on. And I'll just run with whatever program that factory preset I like. And that is what I'm using on all the machines. The Manticore, got a few little tweaks in there that are particular to the area that I'm in and the way I like things to run. But it's all running off those factory presets. I haven't got some fancy program in there or anything like that. Um, same for the 900, same for the Xterra. I've had a few people, um, just to go back on what I've been talking about, who have messaged me and said look i've got the 900 for example the one particular chap had got a 900 and he said i'm really struggling with it i'm not finding much and i said right send me your settings let's have a look and he did a little video and took me through his settings um and i was like what on earth have you done to it i'll tell you how to make it run well do a factory reset um he put in some crazy program that someone had um given to him he'd found online or something like that and it just didn't work for him now i'm not saying that these programs that people put together won't help they might help and sometimes do help but you've got to remember when someone puts this package together they're doing it for their conditions in their field on that particular day then you get it and you might live hundreds if not thousands of miles away completely different conditions different emi different minimization whatever um, and what works for them won't necessarily work for you so going back to the talking about when you make a gain in performance, you'll lose in performance in some other aspects of the machine. This is why the engineers, especially at MindLab, um, and I, you guys know that I talk with MindLab and we go back and forth with things, I know they work hard to give you those factory presets. Um, and what they've done is they've optimised the all-round performance for you. So really, all you need to do is some minor tweaks to get what you're getting. Um, 
the manticore this year i've had i probably one of the first manticores into the uk um i was using the manticore back in 2022 um when it was brought over to the john allen event and had a look at it then my finds have gone up and up and up with the manticore so i didn't go out with the manticore on day one and go oh my god look at this i've got all this stuff because like any other machine it was new i had to learn it the reason my fine rates have gone up is two factors i believe Firstly is I've had more time and I've got out and I've moved around the country and gone to some good sites. If it's not in the ground, you're not going to find it. So I've been lucky. I've been on some really good sites where I've been able to find the good stuff. Secondly, I've been using the Manticore now for nearly a year. Um, I've got, with no exaggeration, exaggeration, I can't even say it properly. With no exaggeration, I've got thousands of hours on that thing now. So the reason my fine rate is going up is because I'm learning it. I'm understanding it. Uh, I'm getting to know the tones um, and I'm learning what little tweaks and what works for me and which conditions and all the rest of it. So the moral to this story, uh, and I know there'll be loads of you going, oh, I've put in Joe Bloggs' super settings and it's the best thing ever and you're an idiot and you don't know what you're talking about. Fine. If it's working for you, roll with it. I'm happy for you. Um, but what was I saying? The moral to this story is the super settings are not going to help you unless you know your machine. The key to f improving your machine's performance is understanding it, is using it, and is learning it, and doing it incrementally. As you go, actually, if I adjust that, that's working. Or mm, when I adjusted that, it's not working as well. Keep plugging away. There's lots of experienced people out there with these machines um, who will say the same. They're not just putting this latest crazy package on there that someone's dreamt up overnight whilst having a beer in front of the tv so my settings um yeah for all three machines they are pretty much bog standard with some tweaks to various different sides of the things depending on condition so i'm messing with sensitivity and iron bias and that type of thing um ferrous limits on the manticore working with whatever suits you but yeah that is it there's no dark secret i'll put up some little bits throughout this video um, of some of the better finds we've had when you see some of the smaller things that we've been finding with the manticore and consistently finding um, i think it's working for me on its basic settings so there we are i don't have any super duper settings i'm afraid to disappoint you um, those of you do have them and like them brilliant um, those of you new to it thinking shall i put these on probably not probably stick with the uh, factory presets on there anyway if you like this video or any of the other videos, um, go and check out. So I'll put some links up. Go and check out some of my other mind lab videos. Uh, please do give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Also, head on over to Detecting Wear UK website. Have a look at that. If you're looking for some merchandise, some clothing for your uh, detecting, go take a look on there. So until the next video, which will be, uh, I'm taking a look at the Profine 40, the new mind lab pinpointer. That's coming out very soon. So until the next video, take care.